Tomorrow Morning Show. We have a doozy of a segment for oh you. You just gosh. experienced a full body workout. And I'm please. still sweating. I am leaking. There is so much going on in this studio right now. David Letterman wishes he could do what we're doing. We're getting into new sports traffic weather. We have uh, books today with special guests from Required Readcast. That's right. Here they are. Here's a live look. Oh, are, look at this. Look at this studio. Behind a live studio audience. We're gonna take a quick look at the weather. We made it to summer. It's gonna be 80 for like 10 days. And that takes two. us right into our next segment, Andy. Uh, we have absolute uh, friend, legend, uh, comedian, brilliant sweetheart, veterinarian, Mr. Ke Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald. Wow. Yes. I really knew that. Oh my goodness. I tell you what. I think if I see you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me is this puppy right here. So we brought some animals today. Brad, my buddy Brandon and I that, that I work with, and, and uh, let, let's get to someone. Oh my this god! Is a, this is a California desert tortoise. He was caught in 1912 in Los Angeles, and now the habitat is all the city of Los Angeles. So there's 60 of them left, and he's, he's, uh, they're all too old to breed, so he's the last of the Mohicans. And you know, oh it, when, when he's gone, they'll be gone. And, and uh, it, when a species goes extinct, the world becomes a less interesting place. Oh my you know? gosh! So That's it, incredible. But it, it, he's, he's great. And, and so anything with his shells, is a turtle, but any uh, terrestrial turtles? Oh no, no, this is a sulcata. Oh, this is the African Saharan uh, desert tortoise. Oh, and so th this is a. Uh, he's about twenty years old. Twenty years he's, he's old. Sixty pounds. Oh my gosh, is he gonna get any bigger? So he'll, he'll grow it. They, oh, this gentleman is a wonderful friend. Oh, this thing oh. not get either. Oh, oh what the hell my did you just? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we are going so anyway, this is the show, and. Uh, oh, my God. This is a black-throated monitor. So they're, uh, they're African too, right? Oh, oh, oh. oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. People. Another day with a black-throated monitor. And now we have a Burmese python. I can't like hold it, Dr. Kev. I'm so scared. Oh, you feel okay? Yeah, no, he's real, he's real friendly here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Andy, you got like, and he's been attacked by a lizard today. Those yeah. animals, like the polar bears and the whales, and and uh, animals like like. Uh, Wolves and, and elephants, they, they draw our attention, but so many animals are in trouble worldwide. Any, any animal is a, a miracle of biology and, and evolution and, and is specialized and, and deserves our respect. So, so there's so, you know, anything that has a heartbeat, we should, we should you know, cherish. Indeed, because it is. It's really easy to say, save the polar bears or save, you know, those animals that are yeah, easily the, seen. The destruction of habitat. So in, there, if people say, well, what can I do? Well, actually, you can do a lot. And, and I think getting involved in, in neighborhood uh, conservation things and <laughs> with, will they like each other? Yeah, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> I do like that question. Hey, Are they going to like each other? <laughs> we got a Colorado uh, reptile here. That, that, in that, in that Wait, that. we're not done, folks. You think we're done? Well, this is going to go on for nine hours, and there's going to be 27 oh more animals. That, that grabby thing oh, has got me feeling crazy. You take that by the face. That's what when I start to What worry. the hell's going on? So this is this is a Colorado species. This is a prairie rattlesnake. Okay, here comes a prairie rattlesnake, guys. This is not a holder. Colorado's own. And, and so, Whoa! Yeah, so, that's a rattlesnake. So, so we've been doing, we've been studying these for the state, putting radio transmitters in them. Yeah. So I think, you know, when, when we see uh, uh, wild animals, the urban animals, these guys, anytime you see uh, prairie dogs, there, there's, there's rattlesnakes, so we have to be careful. Oh, and, that and, makes sense. And so, uh, you know, these guys were here before we were, and they're a Colorado resident. They do so much with rodent control, killing uh, rodents for, the, you know, uh, pass on plague and hantavirus and, and bad rodent diseases. So, oh, that is a grumpy. I feel, I kind of feel that same way. I get it. So, the, uh, this is the Denver Zoo. Uh, helped uh, the Mongolians get 187,000 acres and, and uh, give it back to the Mongolians. It's one of their first natural parks. And, and so what we're seeing are the scenarius vultures. These guys breed for, during the summertime, and uh, a male and a female stay together. And it's got an 11 and a half foot wingspan and weigh 26 pounds when they're four months old. So we didn't know anything about them. So we're putting radio transmitters in them, just like we were with the rattlesnakes here. And, and uh, so they're, they're a wonderful creature. They move toward gunshots. They've learned that if something's uh, been shot, they oh, the, in, the, oh, my head's in the way, but there's one of the nests and so there's cliff nests, and, and there, uh, there are uh, tree nests. And there's a baby, everybody loves babies, everybody loves a baby, get my skull out of the way. There we go. You don't want to see me, you want to see these guys. So there's a cliff nest. So let's let the students climb that. We don't, we don't want to climb that one. And then uh, what we have is, is uh, a baby right there, okay? 
So, so, up oh, and they pulled the, they pulled the curtain over the, over the, <laughs> there you go. All right. And, and so, uh, there's mom, and, and they, they, uh, they're so big, they can't take off from the ground. They gotta jump off some. And they, they usually uh, vomit before they fly, just like me. And, and so, so there's a baby right there in the nest, and then uh, here's a highly trained athlete going to climb that nest. And you see him, he moves like a cat. And the, and the bird is thinking, why is Gandalf here? And uh, you know, why is Wilfred Brimley at my place? And, and uh, so you know, I'm going to put him in a bag, and we're going to take him down and put a radio transmitter on him. Just take a minute to drink it, and let's all just breathe for a second oh. and just say thank you for animals, for the beauty of nature, and maybe we can all just be a little smarter and a little better with it. We'll be we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be back with another uh, 30 minutes of news, traffic, weather, and books with the uh, required readcast. Back after this.